Hey guys, welcome back for another video and today we have a new trailer of The Evil Within 2. So I'm really interested in this game, I've played The Evil Within 1 uh, and I really liked it. It's one of my uh, favorite game of the my favorite horror games that I've played uh, a few years ago. I don't play uh, horror games that much anymore, but yeah, that was one of them. And now we have The Evil Within 2, which is coming out on October 13, which I think is a Friday, actually. So Friday the 13th and stuff like that. It's, it's really funny. I hope they are already ready for that date and they are not just being kind of arrogant. But I think they are. I think they are already planning on this one. So I just want to make a live reaction of the new trailer. I haven't watched it yet. I've paused the video at the start, so I do not spoil anything. So, uh... Let's go, I just want to see what, what they have here. The core escaped less than a day ago. Within hours, we began to receive reports of lost emerging in staggering numbers. And they're actively hunting down and killing whoever is left. It's a nightmare. At this rate, there will be no one left in two weeks. So I think in this game we're still in that, in that, uh, I think it was called STEM. Oh. Bring me the core. Lily, you are doomed to repeat the mistakes of the past. Dad. So this is his, da his daughter that we've heard a lot of uh, in the first game. I await you. Oh my god. Jesus, what is that? Ooh. Okay, so we are Man, who's that guy? I think in this game they said they there were like two antagonists. Okay. There she is. Your precious daughter. Isn't this what you wanted? Yep, it's a Friday. <laughs> okay, so yeah, once again, this game, of course, it has it has a lot of uh, of action, but this is one of the things I I like in horror games. I don't like to do nothing and just be scared with jump scares and stuff stuff like that. Uh, I've I've played games like. Outlast and Outlast 2 and it's like really boring at some point because I, I was disappointed with Outlast 2 because it was the same at, as at, uh, as uh, Outlast 1 but uh, well, it was just a story that was changing there, there were no new mechanics, no new stuff it was just a running simulator again so I wasn't really proud of it but what I like in horror games is not the fact that you are just constantly scared it's the fact that you also have the chance to to fight back. I would like to have the chance to fight back in horror games. Uh, my favorite horror games is actually uh, what is it called again? A Siren Blood Curse, which is one. Of, it's really a good game. You have you are not constantly scared. You are constantly scared. Actually, you are constantly in uh, in that pressure, but you have the chance to fight back. You are not just running away from the enemies. So yeah, this is what I like in Evil Within, but what was my main problem in Evil Within 1 was the crossbow. The crossbow was uh, kind of ridiculous. It was really fun to use, but uh, it was it was really kind of ridiculous, especially with the freezing bolt, the, ex the electric bolt. Uh, the explosive bolt was very legit, but the other ones were kind of really, they were a bit too much for me. They were kind of ridiculous. But yeah, overall, I really like the Evil Within. Uh, so in this one, like I said, I think we have two uh, main antagonists, I should say. They are called Stefano and Theodore, and they are controlling uh, what are called the Weakened, which are, I think, people who are part of the STEM, the STEM experience, and they are like, uh, they are unable to control themselves. They are unable to really keep the, the, the spirit in the, uh, well, the brain in the actual reality so yeah i really i'm really looking forward to this we have had collected a lot of information in the evil within one about 
uh, Sebastian and his daughter. We've collected a lot of information about that. But yeah, I'm really uh, looking forward to this and I really want to see what we'll have in this game. Anyways, thank you all for watching and I hope I'll see you next time.